Let's see this. Damn. Okay. Anybody that says Jake Paul is not a real fighter is just hating. Okay, it's tough. Y'all remember when Nate Robinson got knocked out? And they got a shit beat out of here. <clears throat> I think it fell out the ring on the game. Alright, let's go, let's go. Okay. This shit got me hyped. I might have to get a ticket. See Jake Paul calling Anderson Silva. This is the biggest mistake Jake Paul has ever made. There's no fucking way that Jake Paul beat Anderson Silva. Alright. Bro, I'm not gonna lie though. Um What was I gonna say? Even if uh, Jake Paul loses, it won't matter. Because him stepping in the ring with Anderson Silva shows that he's a real fighter. So, like, no matter what anybody's saying, I bet your ass wouldn't get in the ring with Anderson Silva. And Jake Paul is getting in the ring with Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva. Versus Jake Paul. Okay. Yes, I know. Anderson Silva versus Jake Paul is happening, and I'm going to talk about it. I hate this guy, you guys. I don't know about you. See, he's a hater. To Google this fucking idiot. Pisses me off, but Anderson Silva is the man, so we got to talk about it. So I'm going to go through their tale of the tape. I'm going to go through their records. I'm going to go through their previous fights, and I'm going to talk about how this fight is going to go. So first, we're going to look at their physical traits and physical stats, a.k.a. tale of the tape. Wait, what's this, Cody? Well, Anderson's first. Anderson Silva is 47 years old. A very common trait from Jake Paul's opponents. Mm -hmm. He's over 35 mm -hmm. and retired in MMA. He stands six foot two. Say he cheese, chat. the king of the middleweight division for a long time. He has a 77 and a half inch reach. 34 wins, 11 losses. Most of those losses came at the end of his career. And uh, he was known for putting on spectacular performance. For sure, for sure. I legend. A lot of He's a legend. Weren't big MMA fans back in like 2008 to 2012, I would say. Maybe even a bit before. But Anderson Silva was the man. This guy. For sure. Was unbelievable. You have to be he kind of reminds me of One Punch Man. It was never like, is this guy going to beat Anderson Silva? It's what is Anderson Silva going to do to this guy? And why is he even signing the papers to fight him? He was unbelievable. He highlight real kids. A god. Rich Franklin multiple times. He choked out Dan Henderson. Knocked out James Irvin at light heavyweight. Absolutely dismantled in one of the best performances I've ever seen. Forrest Griffin came back and beat Chael Sonnen in possibly my favorite fight of all time. Front kicked v Vitor Belfort in the face. KO'd Yushin Okami, TKO Chael Sonnen, KO'd Stefan Bonner. After the Stefan Bonner fight, he fought Chris Weidman, caught that punch, and then broke his leg. And after that, he was ne never really the same. Yeah. Anderson Silva's resume is in incredibly impressive, and his physical stats are really good too. But the only issue is he is 47 years old. But he hasn't stopped training. Now, let's check out Jake Paul's still let's see. So for some reason, Jake Paul's stats are always different. Sometimes it says 5'11", sometimes it says 6", and sometimes it says 6'1". But I think he's 6'1". Yeah, so I'm pretty sure he is. He's also been listed at 74 inches and 76 inches. But let's just go with 76 inches because that makes more sense at 6'1". Yeah. He sends orthodox. He is 25 years old, has an 80% knockout rate, and has had five bouts against nobodies. Uh, not nobody's. He fought Gib, who is a YouTuber. He just beat Austin McBroom, but he fought yeah. Gib a couple years back, and Gib kept doing like jump squats throughout the fight. It was it was really bad. He fought a five foot nine, forty something year old basketball player, Nate Robinson. Nate Robinson literally just chased after him, and then Jake just landed an overhand right. He fought. A was he sleeping? Prime retired. Was he sleeping? Old wrestler who got a hip replacement named Ben Askren. Again, him out in the first round. was he sleeping? He cried after this fight because he was so proud of himself. He fought a retired, I think it was like a five or so fight losing streak, Tyron Woodley. 
who had just got cut from the UFC because he was a shell of himself. I actually thought that Tyron won the first fight. I actually thought that Tyron was winning the second fight. He was like a round or two away from from winning, and Jake caught him with an overhand. So Jake's Again. record is not very good. What's he sleeping? But honestly, as much as I hate Jake, he's not a bad boxer. Um, I think he makes himself look a lot better by fighting retired MMA fighters who are in their 40s. But if you look at his form, you look at his technique, he does have power. It's hard for me to say because I hate this guy, but I have to be honest. Look at the sweat coming off that nigga face. And uh, he's clearly just looking for money fights and he's not trying to get hurt, which is which is pretty smart. I think the plan for boxers is to make as much money as possible and to win Then fights. show out. Doing. Now, do I respect him? I don't respect him at all. Going into this Anderson Silva fight, Bro, let's see. not respect oh. him even more. Now, a lot of people, including Dana White, have said that. Anderson's gonna beat him this this and that if you want to fight somebody real fight Anderson Silva and people really think Anderson's gonna win and as a longtime MMA fan <laughs> and Anderson Silva fan guys that that is not gonna happen so yes Anderson Silva has won his last couple boxing fights one against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and one against Tito Ortiz now if we look at the Tito Ortiz fight Tito Ortiz sucks guys he's so bad Tito Ortiz has never been a stand-up fighter. Do you guys remember the hooks that Tito was throwing at Anderson's head? They looked horrible. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is known for being an unmotivated, decent boxer, but he just never really lived up to the hype of seeing him. Bro, why are you hating? The reason Jake is going to beat Anderson is, if you guys watch all of Anderson's last fights, he is so frail and fragile and such a shell of himself. He got knocked out by Chris Weidman, broke his leg against Chris Weidman, got outstruck by Michael Bisping, got manhandled by DC, fought Derek Brunson. This was before Blonde Brunson, before Derek really hits prime. Obviously lost to Israel Adesanya, but that was a cool, exciting... This nigga a hater. Lost to Jarek Kananir because he hurt his leg, and then got knocked out by Uriah Hall, who was already... Can I just say something, chat? Um, he, he's obviously hating. Anderson Silva chose to sign the contract. Tyron Woodley chose to sign the contract. Askren chose to sign the contract. Nate Robinson chose to sign the contract. Like nobody forced them to sign a contract. They decided to sign a contract, which means they committed to step into that ring across from Jake Paul. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care about them saying he's not a real fighter. This dude, he's training. He's been training. I mean, let's be honest. We've all seen the videos. He's been training. It's not like he's slow. It's not like he lacks power. He's a fighter. He might not be fighting big name fighters, but he is a fighter. He's, in fact, he's a mainstream fighter. He's brought the name, like he's brought boxing back to life. Him and, uh, what's his brother's name? Logan. Him and Logan have brought boxing back to life like professional boxing was dead i mean n name one person that keeps up with professional boxers mma has taken over but now that jake paul's on the boxing scene everybody's picking up on it i mean they just not just but like, they had a content creator boxing match when was the last time you heard of one of those i've heard of content creator basketball games content creator fucking call of duty matches like i've never heard of a content creator boxing match until Jake Paul and let's be honest Jake Paul is putting in the work he can win there's a chance that he will win there's a chance that Silva will win but we will not know until the fight happens so anybody that's saying Jake Paul will KO Silva Silva will Jake uh, KO Jake Paul it doesn't matter it depends on who puts in more work who gives more effort, who has more heart, and who's willing to stay on their feet and beat the shit out of the person across from them. I mean, this it's the same concept in every sport. Unless you're just a freak athlete, like freaking Derrick Henry, then it's all about preparation and execution. Preparation, execution, preparation, execution. I mean, why do you think football players... They practice all week long to play an hour-long game. Sometimes it's a little longer, but not by much. Maybe like four or five minutes, maybe 15 minutes. 
but they practice for what? Let me do the math, because when I was playing football, we practiced from, we had to be on the field at 3 o'clock. Stretching starts at 3 o'clock, and practice didn't end at 6.30 to 7. We're going to go with 7 because, you know. So, 7, 3 to 7, that's 4 hours, right? 4 times 4, because you practice 4 times a week. Sometimes you might have a Thursday game, and you won't have practice Friday. But then you got to count film session. You got to study what you did. You have to know the plays. So, we're going to add what? I tell you, you're, you need to spend at least two hours on film a day. So, that's what? Two times four, five. Two times five. Because you're going to have, trust me, you're going to have a film session after the game. The next day after the game, especially if you lose, you're going to have a film session. And then your coach is going to work the shit out of you. Let's be honest. So, that's two hours times five. That's ten hours. So, plus ten hours. That's 26 hours to prepare for one hour, sometimes less. Come on. Like, it doesn't matter what level of athlete you are. It doesn't matter if you're professional, college, high school, little league. I don't give a fuck. You can be any level. You're an athlete. It's what you do, what you choose to do, what you love to do, and what you work to do. So everybody out there saying that Jake Paul is not a real boxer. If he loves boxing and he's putting in the work, I don't care if he has zero matches or 100 matches. If you're putting in the work and training for boxing and training in combat sport, you're a fucking boxer. So don't let nobody hate on you. Like if you, Even if you're a fucking bench warmer on the football team, don't let anybody down you. They're not out there busting their ass. Even if you're on the worst team in America. I don't give a shit. They're not out there busting their ass. They're not out there putting their body on the line. I had five concussions in one year. And people were still hating. Saying, oh, the team sucks. The team's losing. Okay, it's a team sport. Right? So it takes the effort of the whole team. Everybody has to be at practice on time. Everybody has to practice at 110%. So then when you go into the game... And you're low, like you get tired, you're still going at 100%. You need to be out there working like a fucking racehorse, my boy. Real shit. What the fuck's my mouse off? Continue. He kind of on his way out as well in the fourth round. And he had gotten dropped quite a few times in that fight. Guys, Anderson Silva's chin is not good at all. It's really, really not good. But the problem with Anderson is he still thinks that he's 30 years old. He still tries to do what he did against Forrest Griffin. He still tries to bob and weave. You saw it in the Uriah Hall fight that he was trying to move his head. He was trying to do the things that he used to do, but he just can't do them anymore. He's almost 50 years old. Jake has pretty much just the same reach as him. And Jake is pretty good at landing a long one too. At this point, I honestly think that a jab can not- Like, look at that. You don't call that real boxing? Dude is leaking. That's real boxing. Punch for punch. Now you can box in the backyard. You're boxing. You can practice at home. A fucking heavy bag in your garage. And a speed bag. You're boxing. Right or wrong. What are you training for? What are you training to do? Box. So you're a boxer. I mean I'm not saying you're going to go out there and be fucking Muhammad Ali. But you're a boxer. You. It doesn't matter if you're the worst in the world or the best in the world. You're a boxer. Knock out Anderson Silva. Now, if Anderson Silva was 25, if they were the same age, he would absolutely piece Jake up. Like, well, Anderson Silva's one of the best UFC fighters ever. Yeah, he was one of the best UFC fighters ever. He's not anymore. He still is. And even the boxers he's fought have not been very good. He's not one of the best now. UFC fighters right now. Jake Paul but he's still... He can turn if... One of the and best, if not the best. person for that. Anderson likes to stand still and make you punch him. And if Jake even lands a jab, he's going to put Anderson Silva out, unfortunately. And it sucks because to see Anderson Silva's legacy go out by fighting a fuckboy like Jake Paul is going to be super shitty. See, he's hating. Uh, a lot of these people are hating because Jake Paul's flashy. What the fuck was Deion Sanders? Everybody loved Deion Sanders. That motherfucker was flashy. He spoke about himself in the third person. Like, this nigga's ego, like, this is a normal person's ego. This sh nigga's shit is shooting through the sky. So what if you have an ego? It doesn't matter. 
You have an ego, you don't have an ego. If you don't have an ego, sorry you have a low self-esteem. Grow an ego. Like, like you have the money to do it. Do what makes you happy. And if being flashy, buying jewelry, fucking bitches makes you happy, then do it. If you have the means to do so, then do it. It's, it's your money. Not Just because you can't live the way he's living, don't fucking hate. Uh, Jake is going to win. I don't like Jake Paul. I don't have any respect for him. If he was a real fighter, I think he would fight a boxer that's his age. He keeps saying that Tommy Fury is running, but I actually think Jake is running. I mean, there's so many fighters in the cruiserweight division. That Can I also say another thing? Tommy Fury ba backed out of the contract. He had two fighters back out of the contract. You think he's like Jake Paul is fighting one of the best fighters in history. In all of history. And there's still fighters out there that are like almost 50. Anderson Silva said himself at the press conference. I still train every day. His coach told him not to run because he's starting to get a little bit old. You know what he did? He walked out the fucking door and ran. Like, he's still working. He's still a hard worker. So at the end of the day, it depends on who came prepared. One person is not going to be prepared as much as the other person. He could fight right now. But unfortunately, I do think Anderson is going to lose. I don't really see a way Anderson can win. Um, I don't think Anderson has the power anymore to put Jake out either. And I know that Jake definitely has the power to put out Anderson. And I'm sorry to all, to all the MMA fans. There's nothing I want more than Anderson Silva to just slip, slip. Your 